Okay, welcome back. All right, so I'm going to um, upload uh, this document. These are the directions um, for your project, okay? So I'm just gonna go over and give a verbal with these. These will be on Google Classroom. Um, <clears throat> so for fourth quarter, um, you will complete educational theorist research project. This will go, um, this is part of the curriculum and instruction course. Um, so you have to pick the presentation of your research. So you can pick a PowerPoint, Google slide, Prezi, blog, or other digital platform that you can share with the teacher. Um, I also meant to put in here, you could do a, a video, YouTube video as well, just as long as it can be shared. Um, with the teacher, me. Um, you can create a brochure. There should be templates um, on Google uh, Docs as well. You can create an informative poster. Um, you have to make sure that you are uh, you have uh, legible handwriting. Um, images. Um, it needs to have uh, be of quality um, presentation. And you have to be able to somehow take pictures of it um, to send to the teacher for grading. Or you can just, um, you know, create a Google Doc of just a research paper, just, you know, <clears throat> writing paragraphs, okay? So now I'm going to move down here a little bit on the directions. Oops, sorry. I got, there we go. So, um, you must use, I'm trying to zoom in here, um, as you can see, uh, the due date for the final research project is May 1st, and then the draft will be April 20th, because we do have some spring break days built in there, so I want a draft sent by April 20th, and then uh, May 1st you will submit um, your final research project. So within this first week of, a of um, the week of April, um, <clears throat> sorry, I just want you to communicate with me what theorist you are choosing, okay? And I'm gonna talk about choices here in a minute. So what has to be included in your research? So you choose the presentation Miss, uh, I'm not picking it for you. You pick the one that you feel you can, um, you know, that you're excited to present the information in that way. This is the research that you need to gather on the theorist or theory that you pick. So first, right here, you're going to want to introduce your theorist or your theory. So we need to know the name of the theory or the name of the theorist. Um, if it's a person, uh, when were they born? Um, are they, have they passed away? What country or countries have they lived in? Um, years that they studied, um, their theory, um, possibly what colleges and universities did they attend or work for? Um, if you picked a theory, what year did this theory start approximately? So what years are you finding on that? Uh, what college, universities, or organizations support this theory? Okay, so do they have an organizational website? What are you finding? Um, what is important about this theory? So you're kind of introducing, giving us the background of the theorist or the theory. The second thing you're going to do is what are the theories or theory on child development? Um, what age group did they study? So does it include birth um, to age three? Does it go birth all the way up to adulthood? But for purposes of this, of your research paper, you're just focusing on birth to age eight. Um, and their theory might only start at preschool, you know, or, um, or what have you. It might not include infant, toddler. It might just be preschool. That's okay. Um, so make sure you're just focusing on that. Um, this should be, you know, I try to give you an approximation of the number of slides or possibly paragraphs. So the second part would be about um, 
three to six slides or three to six paragraphs. Um, up here, your introduction could be one, possibly two paragraphs or one slide. Um, the third thing you're going to do is explain a real or possible example of this theory. So you wanna think of the education setting, a classroom setting. Um, it could be a, a high school classroom, if that's easier for you. Um, so like basically what they're, what are they saying? So it could be a relationship low, well, like my baby cousin, I saw this. This is an example of what this theorist is talking about. So you can relate it to any, you know, a family member's child, um, yourself in a, in a situation in a classroom with a teacher and other students. So, you know, try not to overthink it. Just try to think about something that comes to your mind and experience you've had that you think connects to what they're saying. The fourth thing is you're going to have a conclusion. So what you will you apply to your thinking as a future teacher, psychologist, social worker, or whatever your future career path might be. Um, so this is where you're, you're personalizing the research um, to fit. Okay, this is where I see myself going. Um, there's a lot other theories and and things that you're gonna have to learn in college if you choose these career pathways um, in the future. So this is just kind of an introductory thing for you. Make sure down here that uh, you must create a works cited bibliography um, to your research as well. So you have to have that works cited reference or bibliography page. Um, use websites, I'm gonna show you um, we're going to talk about like um, alperdue.edu is, is effective. We're also going to take a look at infoohio.org and uh, Columbus City Schools offers you a password for that. Moving down here. <clears throat> I think I had already said make sure um, you're following MLA or APA that your English teacher um, have taught you to do. So the other thing with, if you choose a research paper, you want to make sure you're doing double space um, you um, and you're following MLA or APA and it's paragraph format. Um, so you're going to choose your theorist. So I said assigned, but I mean, that's the one you tell me who you're most interested in. Now, the founding fathers, those are the ones that I have to make sure you've been introduced to, all of you. So that's why I had you take notes on them. But um, I did not go in deep detail and do the other, uh, some of the other things. So you can choose one of them if, if you find that, that they are of most interest to you. Um, so I have them included here, but I've also added like um, Afro-American Ohio educators, um, Haley Q. Brown, Yvonne Walker Taylor. Um, we have Erin Gruwell. She is known um, from the Los Angeles, California Freedom Riders Project. Um, she was a high school teacher. Uh, Ron Clark. Uh, there was a movie um, on Lifetime, the Ron Clark story. So, um, and he is one of the newer um, people sharing their th a theory on education. You could choose him or Aaron Gruwell, uh, Marion Wright Elderman. She's over the Children's Defense Fund, an African-American educator. Um, she's also known for the Freedom Schools in the summer. There are several um, elementary schools in Columbus City Schools in the summer that have a Freedom School program. Uh, her organization is behind those. B.F. Skinner is technically a behaviorist. Um, he's not mentioned in our textbook, but uh, again, if you're kind of interested in um, behavior of, of children and behavior of people, you might want to look at B.F. Skinner. Um, Howard Garner is one of our founding fathers. Um, the father of um, Head Start would be Yuri Bronfenbrenner. Um, Ab Abraham Maslow is another person known, um, has a lot of uh, his theory, has a lot to do with uh, also with um, Head Start and public programming. Dr. Deborah Sullivan, chap in chapter two, when we did those um, videos 
uh, about like programming types. Uh, Dr. Deborah Sullivan spoke in a couple of those videos. So she is also an African-American educator, someone you might want to pick. Uh, Sarah Simlansky, she's mentioned in the CDA Essentials textbook that you'll use as a senior a little bit, but you could uh, look up her um, theory. Uh, Dr. Edward Ziegler is known as the father behind the CDA credential. Um, and he is known uh, in the um, early childhood education uh, world as setting uh, modern day theories. Uh, brain development is a choice. Marie Montessori is a program type, but I also view her as a theorist, so you could uh, pick her. And then Dr. Bruce Perry was part of the video that we watched. Uh, so here are some choices. There might be some other names um, that you've heard of in an educational text or something that has come uh, to your attention. You can ask me about them and uh, we can go from there. So again, I'm just trying to give you as much details as I can to kind of guide you through this process. Um, you'll have a copy of these sent to you. So just keep your due dates. Um, the draft will be April 20th and then May 1st, um, and in the beginning of April, you're just going to let me know um, who you're deciding to do your research on. So I'm going to make, um, in another video, we're going to talk about um, the websites offered to do research, and um, if you're just using like a Google search, make sure you're getting uh, .edu, .org. Um, they're a little bit more reliable uh, than the uh, .coms and et cetera. Thank you.